Thank you, Madam President. As we know, small businesses are the backbone of our economy. Uh, more than 96 percent of the businesses in New York State and half the state's workforce work in small businesses. When they are thriving, New York State is thriving. But we all know the pandemic was tough on businesses, mostly tough on small businesses, wreaked havoc on locally owned businesses and every community across the state. So we worked hard, put together a small business package to help them get through the pandemic. Now, as we negotiate post-pandemic era, we need to make sure that our commitment to small businesses remains strong. That means finding creative ways to support them, whether it's from funding childcare to make sure the workforce is available, investing in broadband, investing in hydropower, uh, reducing the cost of power transmissions. These are all the things that help small businesses uh, survive and all ways we can help them improve their workforce and support their workers. But sometimes people think of the employer-employee dynamic as a zero-sum game. If you help one, you've got to be hurting the other. But the truth of that is when we invest in workforce development uh, and when we invest in child care and universal pre-K, we're making it easier for people to go to work. And it's helpful to the employees, but it's also helpful to the small businesses. Uh, we want to continue to do that. So today I rise to thank all the small business owners in New York State for their entrepreneurship, for their innovation, for their hard work, and their uh, dedication. Uh, so we're here today and we're going to celebrate Small Business Month. Uh, thank you, Madam President.